Welcome to Aldous Kubonti, Port Elizabeth for round 2 of the South African Sim GT Challenge. We have Jason on a pole position here. Fantastic qualifying session. To, um, to win pole position with the time of 57.791 seconds. Just ahead of Bjorn in the... Sorry, Eugene in the Lamborghini. With a time of 57.900 seconds. And then Michael in third. With a third place grid slot. With a time of 58.450 seconds. The guys are doing their formation lap. A bit of uh, braking and uh, weaving going on. Trying to heat up those brakes and tyres. Mostly trying to heat up the, the brakes. We have Bjorn in the Porsche and Stefan in the black and white Corvette C6R. And we're about ready to go here. Jason will wait for the optimum time to accelerate. And here we go. Great start by Jason. Timed it perfectly. And acceler out accelerates Eugene into turn one. Jason holding the lean lead. Michael close behind Eugene. And Bjorn also in pursuit. Looks like a very clean start by all the drivers. Great to see. It's been a bit heavy break here. Great, great camera shot. Just looking back from Jason and Eugene. Oh, Eugene has a moment there. Tires still cold, not not warm enough to that kind of sliding. As we go through the last corner of the track. Eugene, up close to Jason now. Let's see if we can make a move up the inside. No, he's not close enough. Oh, and Jason goes wide. Oh no, he spins. He spins. Around goes the Corvette. Oh, he'll be kicking himself about that goes back to fourth position. Now Mark got to take avoiding action there. This is allowed Bjorn to close right up to the back of the Aston Martin. Bjorn attacking the Aston Martin. Oh, and Marco with the tank, tank slapping moment there. He manages to gain, gain control. Good driving. Closes up under braking. Both cars get good drive out of the last corner down the mid stretch. Uh, Michael goes a bit wide there. Bjorn's gonna try and have a look. No, he can't. Uh, Michael closes the door. Jason will be ruining that mistake from, from the second lap. Threw the lead away. We all looking very comfortable here in third position. Gene goes into turn one, building up a healthy lead back to Michael. Here we have 
uh, Stefan in the second, the Corvette C6Rs, holding off uh, Tony in the second of the Lamborghinis, Lamborghini Colados. Tony, a bit of an oversteering moment there, but brings him to the car. Down the main street we go, on board the Lamborghini, closing back up behind the Corvette. Stefan looking comfortable in the Corvette. really battled with his uh, BMW M3 last season with the Corvette is uh, proving to a much better match to his driving style and Tony going having a miss miss was clipping the grass there but manages to keep it on the black stuff the Lamborghini seems to be a bit Better under, under braking, closing up to the back of the Corvette. But the Corvette seems to have a better, um, better drive out the corners. Stefan making a bit of a mistake there, going wide in turn one. Tony catching up to him under braking. There we see the better braking. Closing right up. Oh, and Bjorn's at a moment oversteering. Fortunately, Jason made light contact with him. Jason gets better drive at the corner, powers past him down the main straight. There's not much Jason could do, I think it was just simply too close to the back of the Porsche to, to avoid any contact. Interesting to see if Bjorn can come back at Jason later on. Back to the, the fight for fifth position. Stefan's managed to open up a gap here back to Tony. Gina's opened a bigger gap back to Michael. Looking very uh, quick indeed. Stefan just getting past the back marker there of Christie in the Ferrari F458. Christie getting out the way, the quicker Corvette and the Lamborghini. Good driving. Turn right behind Stefan now. Let's see if he can uh, make a move on the inside. And they're braking. And, oh, and Stefan closes the door. Very close. Oh, 
when Stefan makes a mistake there. Quick right hander. That gets it together. Tony has another look. Oh, they make contact. Very light contact. Stefan keeps control of the Corvette. Well done there. Through the S as we go. <laughs> oh, and Stefan makes a mistake. He goes wide. Looks like he outbraked himself. Tony takes opportunity and goes through. Oh, Bjorn Scorpio on a back marker. That's Kevin in the BMW M3. Another newcomer to the series. Still lots to come from that BMW M3. Michael just about matching Eugene lap for lap time. Michael coming up behind Chris there in the Porsche. Might overlap him. Chris gets loose offline. Well done to him. It's sounding fantastic. Big V8 bar. So it has a 996 Porsche, flat six. Oh, and Stefan's had a moment. Looks like he's hit the tire barrier. Let's see if we can try and get a replay about that. Here we go. Here's the replay on board with Stefan. It's Tony in front, he gets caught behind a back marker. Oh, and Stefan takes a body, avoiding, uh, makes an avoiding move and unfortunately hits the wall. And Stefan's race, I think he's out of it, unfortunately. We go on board with Eugenio on the Lamborghini. Car handling extremely well. See how he's able to ride the curves. Sign of a well set up car. Maybe breaking for the hairpin. Bit of a lo lock up there for Eugene. Nothing too serious. Another light lock up. Oh, Michael's closing up to, has closed up to Eugene. Gaps down to about four seconds. So the 
pressure's on, we've got about 10 laps to go. If Marco, if Marco continues like he is, he could catch it in for the end. Marco passing doing the McLaren. Fantastic looking livery on that McLaren. Gorgeous colours. Here's the McLaren again. You're having a much better run than you had in Kalomi. Jason making his way past back marker Louis in the McLaren. Board the uh, Aston Martin, Martin Vantage V12 big boat at full sun down the main straight. Oh, and Eugene goes off track. I think he was distracted by the M3 of Kevin. He's managed to re rejoin the track, still in the lead. Another big moment there by Eugene. Look back from Eugene at Michael now. Michael needs to take this opportunity now and give it all, he's, all that he's got. Cars looking very equal through this first part of the track. Two cars at the absolute limit. Fantastic driving by these two. Have a lock up there by Eugene. I think too serious. Gene just managing to edge away there. Eugene using all of the track, clipping the grass on the inside there. Again, another little lock up there by Eugene. Oh, and 
Mark already pushing us modern and hard there. The rear end getting loose there. Eugene makes contact with the back marker and launches himself into the tire barrier. Oh, hopefully we can get a replay, replay to see exactly what happened there. Disastrous for Eugene. Here we go, on board with Eugene. The replay. Slipstreaming the Ferrari and the Ferrari moves over on him. Oh, that is, that is an absolute disaster for Eugene. Michael goes three, 3 for the lead. And I think that's the end of Eugene's race. The car is just too badly damaged to carry on. Possibly Christie's showing a bit of inexperience here, not realizing that Eugene was slipstreaming him and was going to move over to, to the left to pass him. Jason moves into second position. moves into third position. Fantastic looking livery on the Porsche. I love the idea of the side African flag on the on the length of the wing there. Oh and Tony has a has a moment with a back marker. I don't think he's gonna lose the position. And soon gets going again. No harm done. Just a bit of time lost. Tony's Brakes on the Lamborghini glowing red hot, pushing the Lamborghini very hard. Maybe coming through the three turn one in the McLaren. Stunning looking car. Jeans parked in the just past the apex of turn one. I don't think it will be a problem. Not ideal for the other drivers. Bit of moment there in the last corner. Jason not able to catch up to Michael after his uh, mistake on lap two. take his third win of the season. He won the first two races at Kalami. So he's, he's had the perfect start to his to his championship campaign. Very impressive driving by him at Kalami and yet today I'll just run to He's proving the man to beat this season. I feel that Eugene will come on, come on strong later in the season after he gets past all these bad luck he's been having. Chris is coming to lap uh, Kevin in the BMW M3. Oh, he's got Louis right behind him. He's Fighting for position with Louis in the McLaren. He seems to get past the back marker, okay. Let's see right on board here with Louis in the McLaren. The McLaren. Chris making his way past the back marker of Christie. Let's see 
if you do, you can catch up to Chris in the posing, posing laps of this race. to catch Chris just in front. Yours on the last lap of the race. You'll be looking just to bring the car home in one piece and to, f to take the win. Although the Aston Martin is slowing, maybe he's running out of fuel. Definitely short shifting there, very slow there. To the hairpin. Again, very slow out of the hip in there. Could be also very wary of the back markers. Jason's closing, he's taken two seconds out of his lead. I think it's going to be enough. This one is still sounding good. Yes, and he takes, takes the win. Jason comes across in second just behind. Bjorn will come through in the Porsche to take third, third position. Great drive by him. Tony in the white and black Lamborghini will come through to take fourth position. Chris comes through to take fifth. And Louis sixth. Good drive by Louis. Much better than what he did in Kalami. And Kevin in the very distinct yellow BMW M3. Coming in through to finish. And Christy in the very second and looking Ferrari four F458 Italia Ferrari. We have it, that concludes race one of round two of the South African Sim GT Challenge. I'm Jason for Sim Race South Africa. Stay tuned for race two. Until next time.